thank you, God. Father, we bless you. We exalt you, Lord God. Father, we thank you for bringing us here in the Dunamis Conference, Lord God. Lord God, you've, there's so many, Father God, of us that you've brought here on a Thursday night, Lord God, hungry, some from, some from across the city, Lord God, some from across the planet, Lord God, but because you have a specific plan and a purpose this weekend, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that, that you're about to ignite a revolution in our midst, Lord God, Lord God, we thank you that the kingdom is not found in talk, but it's found in power, Lord God, and we came here to experience the power of God, Lord God, we came here, Lord God, not to hear good stories, we came to experience and create our own stories Lord God in you so Father tonight Lord God take complete control Father God take complete control of this conference we give it into your hands in Jesus mighty name Amen 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 people of God 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 20 1 Corinthians 4 and verse 20 I want everyone to read it with me for the kingdom of God is not in word but power let's try that again I wasn't hearing power there for the kingdom of God is not in word but in power I want you to tell a couple people beside you get ready for the power get ready for the power see the Lord has a special love for young people He's got a special love for young people. Just high five somebody beside you and tell them that you're loved. Yeah, if the person beside you is not as young, high five them anyways because they have a Caleb spirit. You know, we're, we're not here to discriminate anyone tonight. This is about kingdom power. You see, and, and, and the reason why God loves young people is that there's something radical about youth. There's something radical about, about the generation of youth. It's a generation that has not yet been subdued by, by the pharaohs. It's a generation that's not yet been, been, been circled by that wilderness spirit because of the things that happened in their life. It's still a fresh and young generation. But God loves youth because they're revolutionary. A group that's not afraid to challenge the status quo. If you want change, you need to bring in a group of young people. And if you don't have thick enough skin to take, you know, to take some, some suggestions, and I'm using the, a, a, a polite word like suggestions, then, then don't get around youth and don't get around young people because, you know what, they, 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 they suggest to me up and down every day as soon as I came in the door. Oh, wow, new shoes, finally. Oh, you got a nice jacket. Now you're my youth pastor. You see, young people, they're revolutionary. They're not stuck in their ways. Some of you change cell phones like underwears. Every day I see you with a, with a new cell phone. You're not, you're not stuck on something. You don't fall in love with shoes from 1972 and you just keep wearing them and you're the only one that thinks they're still in fashion. And he loves young people because, why? Because you're advocates of change. You're advocates of change. See, the thing about, thing about young people is that what you'll find is that you'll find that young people will hug trees when a chainsaw is coming so the tree does not get hurt because they're radical. Young people will you'll, 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 you'll lay down in front, of, in front of tanks because there's a cause and, and you don't want those tanks to move in because you're radical. You'll, you'll protest in the middle of, of school like, like Tanaman Square over in Asia and, and, and for freedom and for liberty's sake, no matter what, even though they'll shoot you down because there's something radical about young people. Young people will cry out against injustices. They will not just settle and take it like, like those who are new used to it and, and, and used to the wilderness and used to Pharaoh, you will cry out and say, no, this injustice must stop. A young person will fill their backpack, jump on a plane, go over to Europe, but don't, they, they will not get the, they, they won't jump on the second flight. They'll backpack all across Europe all summer following their favorite rock band because they're radical. A young person will go on a 30 hour famine, no water, no food. And then when I hear Christian young people crying about, oh, I have to break my fast at 12 because you know, I have a headache and you find young people in the world. They're so, they don't even know what they're fasting about. They just go on these 30 hour famines because people say they need to. Cause young people are radical and this is why God loves us. No matter what the cry must be heard. 
A young person will enlist in an army and, and they'll do it and they'll, and, 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 you know, and they'll break to all their friends. Yes, this is cool. I'm, 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 I'm enlisting in the army. I, my job is to dodge bullets all day to be in bunkers. And they'll go and they'll fight on the front lines and die for the cause. Young people will go through any initiation to be in a gang. Even if they have to murder, even if they have to, even if they have to do heinous acts, they will do it to be in a gang. A young person in a gang will mindlessly follow orders. They will be obedient to what the, what the gang leader says and they will carry it out. They're always, and young person, you know what I love? Is that you're always looking for the fastest means of communication. It doesn't matter if it's, if it's a messenger. It doesn't matter if, if, it's, if it's email, if it's Facebook. You'll always find the quickest and fastest means of communication where you're talking to everybody else in the class and smiling at the teacher. But you know how to communicate. Has anyone ever seen Gossip Girl? Oh, not willing to admit it in here. I, I see some yes and I see some, some shameful looks, but it's not, about, it's not about condemnation. It's the fact that Gossip Girl, they found a, a way to have gossip in real time. As the thing is happening, it's on the cell phone, on the website, and beamed out to everyone in the area. Because young people are radical. They know how to communicate their cause. And what you see here, the common theme is not even age. The common theme in all of this, and I'm not condoning everything I spoke about here. I'm not telling you to go join a gang and go hug a tree because, you know, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna value your life for, for a tree where a chainsaw is coming through or you're gonna, you're gonna have a we are the world because I'm eating meat. And by the way, me and Pastor Frank are gonna be eating barbecue all week. So if you, you know, if you don't like meat, tough. But I'm not telling you not to do these things. But the common theme here is that there is an uncapped spirit. There's an uncapped spirit willing to do what it takes to get the ultimate promise to change the course of history and to even and, 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 to, and, to, and to leave an impact in your life. You see, this is this dynamis generation. Say I'm a part of the dynamis generation. You'll never be satisfied with talking about Abraham. You'll never be satisfied with talking about Moses and David and, and Daniel and the 12 apostles of the Lamb. You just won't be satisfied with it. And, and as, contra, as controversial as this is about to sound, you know why? Because they're ancient history. History is history. They, they, they lived great lives 2,000 years ago. But, well, you know, I, I've come to the conclusion that anything that has happened over 1,000 years ago is ancient history. And so this generation will never be content. We're just talking about the Moseses and the Joshuas and the Davids. We want to see the power of God in this generation. Is there anyone here that wants to witness the power in their own lives? Is there anyone here that's hungry to do what Moses did? I'm going to do what Peter did. It's a different generation. See, Jesus is alive today, and, and you know what? He's not ancient literature. He's the living word. He's the living word. The kingdom of God is not found in talk, but... Power. The kingdom of God is not found in talk, but... Power. The kingdom of God is not found in talk, but... Power. Don't just talk about Moses, because Moses has his full of reward. I want you to stand in this place. I want you to stand in this place.